Have you ever wanted to embed a map that's interactive into your website? Well, if so, this is the video for you. What we uh, will show you here is how to take a map uh, from Google and make it um, uh, embedded in your site so that it's interactive and people can zoom in and zoom out and slide it around and do all kinds of stuff just like you see I'm doing here. So this is a website for a company I built, uh, sorry, for a company I uh, um, did some work for a few weeks ago and uh, building the site and um, let's show you how I did it. So oh, in one point, this is uh, this will demonstrate how to do this using WordPress, but the logic is pretty obvious and it will apply to any other site. So, okay, so um, the first thing you do is go to Google Maps, which is just googlemaps.com, and um, type in the area you're looking, the, the name of the place or the address you're looking for. In my case, I've got it cached here, so I'm just going to type that in. And there it is. Then you set the zoom level to what you'd like, and I'd like it to look hmm, something like that. And then you go to the menu in the top left hand corner and click share or embed map. Now again, this is not exactly hard, but it's not obvious. So here you'll see share link. I don't want to share it, I want to embed it. So let's go here and I'm just gonna, and I can set the size of that map, how large or how small I want it to be. Uh, I'll set it to be a large map. And all I do is copy that address. Uh, then I go into my website, and in this case it's WordPress, but it could be anything. And, um, uh, uh, make sure you're in an, in an editor, not in a graphics editor. So I'm going to flip over to text in um, uh, a raw editor, HTML editor. Uh, make sure you're doing that uh, here. So I'm going to go into text in WordPress. If you're in some other service, just make sure that you're some other, you know, back end like Joomla. Just make sure you're not working in the in graphics mode. Make sure you're working in the, uh, the raw mode. Anyway, paste that in. Uh, then you can go back to visual if you want, and you'll see it will preview it. Um, I can go add text before it. I can say, this is where we are. And, um, you know, click to move around. Let's go click and move around. Um, okay, there we go. And I'll go back to visual and there it is. And you can see here, I've got my map and I'm going to, uh, I'm going to publish it now. So I'm just going to click publish. So I can see this thing and show you how it works. Okay, so now I'm going to go to uh, view post and we'll take a look at it. Then I'll show you one more thing that might be of interest and we're on our way. So there it is. Now I can just move around and zoom in. I can do whatever else. So let's show you um, oh, by the way, yes, you can click on the um, uh, satellite uh, layer here. Um, and let's show you how to do street view, the same thing. So, same idea. So, let's go back to the waiting room cafe on Google Maps. Okay, now in the bottom right hand corner of the screen, you'll see a little man, and that is your street view uh, shortcut. So, click on that and um, click wherever you think you'd like to see. So, I'm going to click right on the corner here, double click. As soon as you've zoomed in enough, it will it will um, go to Street View. There it is. That's the facility. Now you can see I'm just spinning this around. And um, let me go back a bit here. Uh, if I pull back here, I get oh, I get newer pictures. There we go. And that's what it looks like. Now I can also embed this. So I'm going to click the ellipse at the top right hand corner. Click Share or Embed. And there it is. How large do I want it? Let's make this one small. And uh, I'm going to right click on that and copy it, close that. And I'm going to go back to my test map. I'm going to click edit. And now I'm going to go back to my raw editor. I'm going to paste in that same um, frame information. Click update. Once it's updated, I can click view post. And you'll see I have both maps. Um, there's the other map. It was there. I just didn't see it. All right. So again, that's how it works. If you have any questions, please get a hold of us at uartech.ca. Thank you. Bye-bye.